It's Grow TV, where we grow together and learn about God. Hello, friends, and welcome to Grow TV. I'm Steve, and as you can see, I am wearing a hard hat and a reflective vest. It's standard construction site protocol, and that's where I'm going, a construction site. I get to shadow a foreman on a construction site. Basically, follow him around, and, and he's in charge of the whole thing. If it falls down, it's on him. But if he builds the greatest thing that has ever been built in history, then that's on him too. And that brings me to the blocks. <sighs> you see, I'm kind of nervous because I have a bit of history of being a little clumsy around stuff and let's just say, mm, still a process. So we're gonna play a game to see how long I can go without knocking over these blocks. We'll call the game, Don't Knock the Blocks. Are you ready? Start the timer. Go. Here we go. I've actually poured myself a glass of milk and I just... Okay, stop the timer. Five seconds. Five seconds and I spilled my milk? Oh, nah, man. I'm about to cry. All right, that was an accident. Anyone could have done that. You know what? I'm just gonna build these blocks back over again. Cool. Don't knock the blocks. Take two. Start the clock. Here we go. Hey, Sam, what's going on, man? Did I see the Knicks? Of course I saw the Nix, I'm gonna call you back. Five seconds? Five seconds again? Hey Steve, cool vest and hard hat. Need some help? Yeah, but before you come any further, you're gonna need these. Trust me. I don't know if I can survive being on a construction site. If I could ask for anything in the world, it would be that I could be just a little less clumsy. And I'm tired of bumping into things and knocking things over and, and even spilling some milk. I'm gonna need a little bit of context for this whole situation. But your request reminds me of a Bible story. One night, the Lord appeared to a person named Solomon and said to him in 1 Kings 3, 5, ask for whatever you want me to give you. For real? Anything? That's what the Lord said. Solomon was taking over the job of king from his dad, David. Those were big shoes to fill. Solomon was nervous about being really young and being liked. Maybe kind of like you're nervous about visiting this whole construction site. Yeah, I'm shadowing this foreman. I'm a bit nervous. I'm gonna bring the whole building down to the ground. Hmm. Solomon was worried that the kingdom would fall to the ground with him as king. So, you know what he did? He asks for wisdom. In 1 Kings 3, 9, Solomon said to the Lord, so give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. Smart kid. God was so pleased with this request that God said Solomon would not only get wisdom, but all the things that Solomon didn't ask for, like long life, great wealth, and Solomon is known to this day as one of the wisest people to ever live. Solomon was nervous about taking over what his father had built. He knew he would need discernment to be a good and fair king and not to destroy anything. So Solomon went straight to God with his requests. God listened and responded, just like God will for us because God listens to our requests. So. I should pray about this construction visit. You certainly can. Who knows? Maybe you'll steer clear of destruction and have the best day ever. Well, here goes. God, thanks for listening. <laughs> that was very cool. I have this shadowing thing at a construction site going on today and I'd really like it if I didn't destroy anything. That'd be cool too. If it was a real good day. I just want to learn what it's like to be in charge of building stuff. Well, that's all. Thanks. Amen. No matter how it goes, it's really cool to know that God listens to our requests when we're nervous or worried about anything. No matter how it turns out, we're never alone in those situations. Solomon wasn't alone in taking over for his father. I won't be alone today when I'm on a construction site. You're in alone in what you're going through. We have a God who loves us and listens to our requests. Hey, 
This has been standing here with me for some time now. I think I'm ready to do this. You know, it's been fun building and rebuilding with you and learning Bible stuff with you today. It's always good to learn and grow together. See you next time. Bye.